My name is Sally Hoffer and uh, luckily I've had a number of different positions in the area of food safety. And in my current role, I have been responsible for sustainable food systems. From production to consumption, uh, our Dutch food system has a significant impact on the environment and on food safety. So we have a lot of challenges and my teams especially focus on food safety and achieving food security. I have been working also at the Dutch Food Safety Authority and in that context I met Rob Talen, who was a former chair assistant of the CCCF and who talked with great inspiration about Codex and stressed the importance of this work. And since 2020, I can proudly say I myself have been actively involved uh, by starting working in the Department of Agriculture and Food Quality. Well, I can describe it uh, as I've heard it, <laughs> but uh, I've heard it has a really constructive spirit and uh, we achieve results by open discussions and willingness to compromise. But in this committee, we establish maximum limits for contaminants in food and feed, and in such a way they ensure public health. And furthermore, we provide guidance via codes of practices. Uh, and with these codes of practices, our food operators in the food chain uh, can get guidance so that maximum levels can be respected and the food which comes available is consumer safe. But at the same time, we need to establish these maximum limits, but also ensuring not too much uh, quantities of food are being wasted and therefore we need a, a good balance. So ensuring public health and not more trade restrictive than necessary. So it takes sometimes a lot of discussion in our committee to reach this consensus between all the regions of the world. So also hence my praise again for this committee for their willingness to seek good compromises. Well, I'm very excited about this agenda and uh, it is quite full and uh, well, endeavorous. Uh, it has a lot, uh, it has a variety of contaminants to be discussed. We are uh, ranging from cadmium and chocolates, aflatoxins in cereals, methyl mercury in fish, and even radionuclides in uh, food. And at this moment, we have eight items in the step process. And also we will look at several discussion papers that may lead to new work in 2022. And I expect we make some good progress in the same constructive manner as the years before. Well, the virtual nature in itself is uh, making it so much different. Uh, and I discussed it with the Codex Secretariat and our D Dutch team. And well, the positive side, it, it is more inclusive. We are bringing in much more delegates than we can ever before uh, because of well traveling uh, restraints. But on the other hand, we lack some sociability, cheer and liveliness in the discussions. And some honorable members will also have to miss their night's sleep to join us. But of all, above all, we have to deal with time limitations and the opportunities that physical meetings offer. So informal gatherings are not um, getting done and we are not discussing critical issues and making proposals to the plenary in the, the, walking, uh, <laughs> the walking areas. So the dynamics will be much more different from the physical meetings and our approach therefore is also different. The difference is um, you can't connect that easily. So you have to really uh, have your ears and eyes open uh, to everything which happens on the screen, and but you can't read body language. So that is much different for me than in other sittings which I've had as a chair. And it is also challenging because uh, this is a large number and which uh, and it, there is a cutoff in numbers uh, when you can ask specifically to people to give some comments virtually. But when you have so many members uh, in a, a virtual meeting, that is not possible. So I hopefully uh, our members um, will speak up when I need to have to say something because I can't always read them. The Codex Secretariat is also virtual for us, so that is a constraint, uh, but they have the, uh, the most experience uh, with all the rules uh, and uh, the procedural workings, 
so I rely uh, definitely on them. And I have a technical staff. Uh, and for me, that is important for the content uh, to comprehend it better. And they give me hints in how the discussion actually proceeds. And th these people are in the room with me. We are actually motivated to continue this, this important work, but also do it with others because it helps also others to meet regionally and intensively with their neighboring countries in a setting as Codex. Um, so we, we're hoping uh, when this pandemic is getting better that we can continue co-hosting. Um, and in that regard, uh, to be uh, in the 2022 in a co-hosting country, but if that's, that doesn't work out, you are all invited to the Netherlands. Uh, well, to the first time delegates, I would say that it is actually an honor to be identified as a representative of your country at Codex. And it's completely to be okay, uh, had to be nervous when taking the floor in this virtual setting. And it takes some time to get practice in making uh, interventions. So, uh, we are making also this a little bit easier and I invite you all to join in the first time delegate session, which is uh, held on Friday the 30th of April, and I will also be there. Uh, we have to reckon with the limitation of such a virtual meeting and therefore I kindly encourage the Codex members to come prepared by focusing on the recommendation in the different working papers. And I would like to emphasize that this meeting is not focused entirely on advancing uh, the items in the step procedure. We try to do this, but time constraints does limit that. But above all, we would like to further guidance the electronic working group chairs to progress their work for the next year. And I would encourage delegates also to take a careful look at the upcoming timetable, which will be published on the Codex website. Um, and there we're making some proposal to facilitate the consideration of the agenda items in the virtual plenary. And with that, we hope to achieve a timely consensus on how to progress in the forthcoming year so that we can meet the deadlines. So I hope to count on you as Codex members to support me in this endeavor.